One dollar. Small but mighty. Many mysteries. Like, where has this dollar been? What are these markings? Like, this little eye on the pyramid. Mysteries. Similar to those that lie in a body of water. What is swimming around waiting to be hooked? Today, we need to uncover some truths. There's a pond that I have a lot of questions about that we're going to be fishing today. But first, with this one dollar bill, we're going to head over to the nearest dollar store, get some stuff to go fishing with. And then, yeah, hopefully we can turn this dollar right here into a big freaking fish on the end of the line. I'm gonna stop talking though. Let's get over to the Dollar Tree. Let's get this freaking video started here today, man. Wow. Yo, first state, why are you going to the dollar store to get fishing bait? Well, first of all, I spent all my money on freaking gas nowadays. But also, you'll see here in a second, we'll kind of explain everything, but hopefully everything we should need is it is for a dollar Ooh, my allergies are going bonkers right now there she is good old dollar tree no wait i forgot everything is a dollar 25 here now isn't it no dude that's a shame plus i think there's tax in florida too how many of you guys though uh before you used to go to the movies back in the day there's always a dollar store right by what was your go-to snack to cop i was always a sour patch or skittles or sour skittles guy it's crazy though dollar 25 now what getting more into the aisles i don't think this is the aisle we're looking for if you guys haven't seen though back in the day we did some dollar store fishing challenge videos Ooh, is this the aisle this may be the aisle hey man if you're looking for some olives dollar <laughs> 25. also if you're ever having a bonfire low-key hack right there all right oh and taco do you want tacos you want pizza <laughs> why would you shop at any other store all right here is the section we want to be looking at no it is not the hot and spicy ramen noodles or the tapatio noodles Boom! Vegetable city, we have carrots, we have green beans, we have French style green beans, wee oui, wee, oui. sweet peas and corn, cream style and whole kernel. We're gonna grab one of these. These are only one dollar. You know, I don't know, how much is this in a normal store? I feel like it's around a dollar, right? It might be cheaper. Are we getting ripped off here? I don't know. Either way, the dollar store is a lot more fun to come into than freaking grocery store. What the? Wait, there's so much random cool stuff in here. Oh, dude, that's probably a cheesy jalapeno. I might have to get this one for the truck camping video. It's flaming hot mac and cheese. Yeah, Loki too. They actually have a good amount of, of assortments of meats and stuff. One time I saw somebody, it was a video, they ate a uh, dollar store steak. You might think you know what we're fishing for today, but I don't know if you do. Oh, dude, that seat is toasty. We're gonna ride over to the pond at this RV park that we're staying at. If you guys have been following the videos, this pond is a mystery. I've seen one big, well, it was like a little group, but I saw one in particular. Pretty sure it was a grass carp. Besides that, I've been kind of trying to fish for bass. We've been here at this RV park longer than we thought we were gonna be, but I have not really caught any bass. I've seen some little ones. But we do know now that there are some big old freaking carp in there. And it's not just normal carp, it's grass carp. I've only caught one grass carp ever in my life. It was with Monster Mike down in South Florida. We'll pop a picture of it up real quick. I said it before, carp are underrated, criminally underrated fish. Super freaking fun to fight. They get big and uh, yeah, I mean, they're, they're just really cool fish. So we packed up everything. We've got the corn, two rods, we've got a bag, we've got the bike and we've got a dream. I had to Google it. Cause I didn't know if grass carp ate corn. Last time we caught them was on Wonder Bread. It says grass carp, herbivores, they love veggies. Sweet corn, cherry tomatoes, watermelon, freshly cut grass from a swampy area. Very specific. Catfish food, small earthworms, lima beans. Watermelon? How do you fish with watermelon? Either way, they're supposed to eat corn and I packed in uh, some bread too. So we're gonna go over there. We're gonna see what we can see. All we know is that there's some big stuff swimming in this pond. Look at that. That is beautiful, some nice cold condensation -y water on a warmy day. It's toasty out here, but you guys will see. Yet again, it's supposed to be a windy one. What else is new though, right? Two rods. By the way, if you guys haven't been watching the videos, we did a fishing challenge where we took this bike from this RV park to five different ponds. We, we rode through all three neighborhoods and I caught my personal best bass and I'm still just the happiest person ever. All right, we got everything we need, I think so. And there's a car. Gets ran over in the first two seconds. Howdy, neighbors. Oh, that 
feels so nice, the wind. It's not super windy yet, but it says it's supposed to get pretty windy. So literally, we just ride this way and then to the right and we're there. Oh, hello. I'll have the link uh, for this e-bike also down in the description below. As well as uh, there's a code to hook you guys up. If you're looking to get in the e-bike game, I mean, look at, I'm not even pedaling, I'm just throttling. All right, let's go slowly here. Do we see anything with the polarized? The other day when I saw the carp, there's like three of them, but I could kind of see the little shadow and I, one got up kind of close and I was like, dude, that's not a common carp. So I kind of looked it up, it was definitely a grass carp. I've also seen, there's a goose over here and he is always by himself. He is a loner, but today he's actually chilling. There's two ducks. My puppy camper loves to chase this goose. Oh, he's going into the water. So are the ducks, look at that. Look at that, it's an animal planet right here. We're just gonna ride down along, uh, starts over there. It's kind of like a canal and then the big end of the pond is down there. We're just gonna kind of ride along and see if we see anything and then I'll kind of figure out where to post up and try to target these dudes you gotta figure i mean there's got to be more than three freaking carp in here right and i'm wondering too if there's also catfish because a lot of people stock catfish in ponds like this especially if they're stocking carp and bass and other you know sunfish and stuff i feel like catfish or bullheads is like something that would get thrown into that equation Hmm. Just thread the needle. All right, we're off-roading. <laughs> Goes right into the pond. You know what I mean? It's, it's a nice looking pond. We got the fountain. We got semi-clear water. If I was a grass carp, where would I be chilling out? Just do donuts in the grass real quick. All right, let's park it right here. Oh gosh, boom. Fortunately, we do not have any cherry tomatoes. We have corn and we got a dream. And I brought this, uh, this dude. A lot of my videos in the past that have, oh, yep, hello. Used corn. As you can see, I'm a professional, but it's been a lot of times where I've tried to, <laughs> let's just say I've had to smash some rocks or some corn with some rocks. For the carp fishing gods, Get some juices flowing. As always here in Florida, gotta watch out for the alligators and the snakes. We're just gonna post up right here. It's gonna be the starting spot. So I had these little uh, rod holder stake dudes. Push that one there, this one right there. So this is gonna be our lighter setup. If we hook one of those freaking giants with this, it's gonna take us for a spin. Let's just say that. But this is loose mock light, four pound fluorocarbon, very light, everything set up ultralight rod and then on this we just kind of went super super just basic we have three um the heck are these called three split shots goes down to this hook right here now this is a little bit bigger and thicker of a hook than i probably normally would use but that's all good i mean we're just gonna shove corn all over it just like this cannot go too heavy i don't think on the corn on this hook we have other hooks too. I just have to find them in the bag somewhere, but if they're not messing with this. So that's kind of what we're looking at. I mean, you can't really even see the hook. So many different things would possibly eat corn. I'm just gonna drop it in right there. Loosen that so we don't lose our crap. And put it in the holder. Boom, first rod set, ready to go. Now what we're gonna do real quick is just do a little chumming of, ah, some corn around the area to get anything that might pick up the scent over here. Now you do have to check your local state regulations and especially ponds and stuff, regulations of who owns it, whatever. Some places don't like you fishing with corn and chumming with corn. Just be on the lookout for that. Here's our bigger setup. It's actually our loose inshore speed stick, but we're just gonna shove corn on this too. It's been so long since we've done this kind of fishing, man. And I know a lot of you guys want me to do a lot more carp fishing. And I was really getting into it back in Delaware. There's so many, like the thing about carp, right? It's so, it's like a different science, like it's in depth. 
there's really cool rigs there's hair rigs and a bunch of different things that we were trying to use that uh the people over the uk use and even people here in the us use for carp it's just like it's really cool unfortunately right now we're just <laughs> going very basic maybe those carp people are cringing at this video but we're using what we got so we just loaded that up with some more corn my butt of this rod is too thick almost to stick into this little dude right there but we're just going to chuck this and that should be good right there similar to the location of the other one we're just going to shove this big old butt end boom reel up the slack a little bit did that one just get bopped hello is that the wind what's going on here kind of near the uh fountain ish area i know there's a drop off you can kind of see it maybe you can't maybe i i can see it there's like a uh little flat and then it just drops off and it goes over towards the pond so we're fishing now hmm i will say just from the two seconds of standing here like <laughs> It's gonna be a little tough with the wind. Maybe we could find an area if this doesn't pan out too well. Out of the wind, just, to, it's just, just, the rods are flapping and stuff, you know? I mean, if we get bit by something big though, it's just gonna go and you'll hear that real drag. You just like, see it go bopping around, that wind. The wind feels good. Ooh. Let's take a seat on the fire pit real quick. So, why are there grass carp in ponds? Like, why do people stock them? I was kind of interested in this. I looked it up. Apparently, grass carp eat uh, excess vegetation and a bunch of vegetation that you might not want in the pond. So, like, if you look at some, there's, like, all this crap all over the top, and they get constricted and low oxygen. So, I guess grass carp eat a bunch of that stuff and make the pond nice and good, good habitat for other fish. I was looking, though, some grass carp, like, you could stock them, and they just don't care. They, they don't want the vegetation which is pretty interesting like they're rebellious <laughs> well, we'll give it a shot here i'd say we've been here for probably about um like 15 ish minutes i just like i don't know how long should i wait at this spot before i like would move spots or i mean since i already chummed here i guess maybe i should just wait it out is there anything like common carp i think they kind of like do rounds around the area and especially i mean if they smell the corn over here maybe that would be yeah maybe i should just leave it i don't know please if you guys don't help me out down in the comment section below again i don't really know too much about carp in general but also like grass carp is I feel like a completely different realm but maybe it's not one question i do have so i was walking around here the other day what are freshwater clams like you can see kind of i don't know if you can see that there's a bunch of shells right there i found one like up on the surface like what are freshwater clams do people stock them in here i used to snag them with inline spinners and stuff in certain places in delaware it's just always so interesting to me like when you think of clam you think of salt water and i don't know like you can kind of see these down here oh well, here's one right here what is this why what eats them the birds the fish yeah i mean i just think salt water when you see something like this or like in spongebob when they like fly around and sing <laughs> no those are like scallops though right waiting for a thick girl all right we're just gonna move the bike up a little bit closer Skirt. let's just go on a scouting mission super quick we're not gonna leave our rods too far i'm gonna be able to race right back to them oh uh, hello well uav mission did not maybe i should go actually that way should try that? Doesn't look like these rods got any action. Watch them both have been going crazy when I was going.
trying to see where they are now. The sun needs to come back out. There's, oh, right here. Yeah, there's three pretty big carp. I, they're like super spookish though. Like insanely spookish. I don't think they want the bread, I don't know. Like I kept chumming the water and just throwing the bread kind of near them. Oh, they would kind of just like swim away. Like they knew maybe this has happened to them before. What's wrong, buddy? Oh, Kelsey. Something just bit me, I think. This is the cast. I put it right in front of them. And they didn't spook. Oh, he's got it. Kelsey. 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 I got a freaking fish on the bread. Oh gosh. There's a tiny hook, tiny rod, tiny line. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's just such a light setup. Oh dude, that's a big freak. Oh God. <laughs> Holy crap. Dude, I've gassed it right in front of his face. Oh please, dude, it's such a tiny hook. Oh God. Oh God. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Dude, that's a big fish. Oh, he does not like that. <sighs> Holy crap, dude. Oh, jeez. That's a big fish. <laughs> Come up here, buddy. We're friends. Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> I've been tracking this guy since the very end. Oh. No, it's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're friends. It's super shallow here to the left. And I saw a school of these dudes. Yeah, he's not done. All right. We're good here. I see it right in this corner of his mouth. This guy just was a little hungry for some bread. Dude, this might be a long fight. He's not going to be done anytime soon, I don't think. Unless I could just grab him real quick. Can I grab you? grass car look at the tail just in the tail. that's a big freaking fish dude i don't know how much this dude weighs we're gonna get him back super quick i don't have like a landing net or anything oh, oh. camper what are you doing <laughs> that is oh yeah this is my hand right there so uh if you could tell from just that and just from the tail that's a freaking that, that is amazing and he's back you want to know just well